Today I'm gonna talk about the Earth hardware model. Earth hardware model is a simple but well known model for calculating the sliding wear. It has a wide application in the estimation of wear, experimentally and numerically. At first volumetric wear. Okay, suppose we have two objects here, A and uh, B. The object B is harder than A and is sliding and as the result it's making wear on object A, okay? Our chart simply says that the amount of wear is directly correlated with the normal force on wearing material and sliding distance. However, it inversely correlated with the hardness of the wearing object. Here is object A. So in order to have this as an equation, a coefficient is needed here which is the so-called wear coefficient or Archard wear coefficient. So this is the Archard equation. Regarding Archard wear coefficient, I have to say it is actually dimensionless and shows the severity of the wear. For example, if this coefficient is like uh, 10 power minus 2, it means the wear is severe. However, if it is only 10 power minus 8, then one can call it as a gentle wear. So let's come back to this equation. Here W is the wear volume in cubic millimeter, P is the normal force in Newton, L is the sliding distance in millimeter, and H is the hardness of the wearing object in megapascal. Now let's check the dimensions of the left and right hand sides. A question might arise here that how can we find the wear rate? It means the amount of wear volume per time. Simply we have to take the derivative of the above equation, equation 1. Then we have, uh, so V here is sliding velocity in millimeter per second. Uh, yeah, here we have assumed that wear coefficient, hardness, and normal force are constant over time. Now, if you want to find linear wear instead of volumetric wear, what should we do then? We only need to substitute the normal pressure for normal force in the above R chart equation, equation 1. So let's do it. Uh, w equals K times P times L divided by H, which is hardness. Everything is the same as equation 1 except P. P here is normal pressure in megapascal and not the normal force. Similarly to equation 2, if we want to obtain the linear wear rate, we only need to take the derivative of this equation, the equation 3 I mean, then we would have W dot equals K times P times V divided by H, which is hardness. Here V is sliding velocity in millimeter per second. Now let's solve a simple problem in order to illustrate these things. We have two objects here, suppose object A and object B. Object B is sliding on the surface of object A for one meter but 100 times. The mass of object B is 1 kilogram and there is additionally 10 newton force on it. The hardness of the object A and B are thousands and two thousands megapascal respectively. The wear coefficient is 10 power minus 7. The question is what is the volumetric wear from object A? The R chart equation is K P L divided by H. So K is wear coefficient, which is 10 power minus 7. Here, the force T 
10 plus. Here we have to take the weight of object B into consideration as well. MBC. Then times sliding distance is 100 times 1 meter, but we have to convert it to millimeter. So 100 times 10 power 3 millimeter divided by hardness. But here, which hardness we have to take? We have to take the hardness of wearing object, not hardness of wear maker. Be careful, this is important. Here, object A is wearing material and object B is wear maker. So we have to take the hardness of object A, which is 1000 megapascal. So I'm gonna calculate with the calculator. The answer is uh, 19.81 times 10 power minus 5 cubic millimeter. As you can see, we did not use the hardness of the object B because Archard wear can take the only hardness of the wearing material into consideration directly and not the hardness of the wear maker material. And this is a big drawback of the Archard model. However, the hardness of the wear maker material can be considered only indirectly by the wear coefficient k. So, if we come to summary, I would say our hardware model is a simple model for calculation of the sliding wear. In our hardware model, the volumetric wear is correlated directly with normal force and sliding distance, but inversely with the hardness of the wearing material. One of the most important disadvantages of this model is that it cannot consider directly the hardness of the wear maker material. Our hardware coefficient is a dimensionless value defining the severity of wear and it can be achieved experimentally. In order to obtain the wear rate, the derivative of the R chart equation should be taken with respect to the time. In order to reach the R chart linear wear equation, only normal pressure should be substituted for normal force. So, thanks for your watching. Please subscribe for more mechanical lectures.